Intravesical therapy is used to treat early stage bladder cancer. Intravesical therapy involves administering medication through a catheter into the bladder via the urethra, the tube through which urine leaves the body. The catheter is then removed and the medication is left in the bladder for one to two hours before being passed with urine when you next go to the toilet following the treatment. After a transurethral resection of the bladder tumor, or TURBT, your doctor may suggest intravesical therapy to decrease the likelihood of the tumor recurring. Intravesical therapy is also commonly recommended for the management of bladder tumors that cannot be removed by TURBT, such as carcinoma in situ, a flat tumor. The two main types of intravesical therapy are intravesical immunotherapy and intravesical chemotherapy. Intravesical immunotherapy activates the immune system to help it to detect and kill the cancerous cells on the lining of the bladder. The most common intravesical immunotherapy is known as Bacillus calmet gayron or BCG immunotherapy. BCG may be recommended for people who have high-grade tumors, which can be more aggressive and likely to spread, or carcinoma in situ, a flat tumor that is difficult to remove with a TURBT procedure. BCG can also be used as a maintenance therapy. This means receiving BCG intermittently for one to three years to decrease the likelihood of the tumor recurring. Side effects of intravesical immunotherapy include flu-like symptoms, fatigue, needing to urinate more often, and blood in the urine. Rarely, BCG intravesical therapy could also cause other urinary tract issues, so alert your doctor if unusual symptoms appear. Intravesical chemotherapy actively kills cancerous cells growing within the lining of the bladder. Administering intravesical chemotherapy directly into the bladder means that the medicine does not usually reach and affect other parts of the body, avoiding many of the common side effects that a person who receives systemic chemotherapy, which is administered directly into the bloodstream, might experience. Side effects of intravesical chemotherapy include fatigue, needing to urinate more often, blood in the urine, and chemical cystitis, an irritation of the lining of the bladder, which can in turn cause pain when urinating. Rarely, absorption of chemotherapy may occur, so alert your doctor if unusual symptoms appear. Learn more at beacon.org.